Hey everybody, my name is Brian and this is the Apple Bias. So today we're going to be talking about sleep tracking with the Apple Watch. I love this thing. I've been sleep tracking with it since the very beginning. I think it was like the summer of 2015. There was an app, started app started coming out that was all about sleep tracking. So ever since then, I've been sleeping in my watch. It takes a little bit of getting used to. It's a little bigger than most sleep trackers. I know some people just can't do it, but I'm lucky enough I can. So I do. I have years and years of data worth of sleep. What do I do with it? Absolutely nothing. But it's still nice to look at. I can usually look at it and say, well, yeah, I feel like junk today because I got four hours of sleep. It's there if I ever need it or if a doctor ever needs it, I can go back and look at it. So this last fall with watchOS 7, Apple finally gave us sleep tracking built into the watch. And it's nice, it is, but it's not good enough for me personally and a lot of other people. So the third party apps are still like doing pretty well and I think they're the way to go if you're interested in sleep tracking at all. Apple just didn't want to approach it too deeply. I heard on a podcast that they came out and said that, you know, there's a lot of stress in our day to day lives that can cause issues with sleeping. And people can like really focus on their sleep, making sure they get enough sleep and all that stuff. And if they don't, it stresses them out and then stress can lead to bad sleep. So it's just this vicious cycle. Now, I don't personally stress about how many hours of sleep I get. I try to get a good amount. But some days I might get four, some days I might get seven and a half is usually kind of like my goal, um, or at least seven. And other days, you know, I'm somewhere in between. But it's okay. It doesn't stress me out. I just keep going throughout the day and I try to do better the next night. That all being said, Apple did get some stuff right. I love the way they set a little wind down to try to prepare you. Okay, it's almost time to get to sleep because you set your sleep goal and then you set the time that you want to go to sleep and together they can kind of just you know hey it's time to start winding down and during that process it will also like notify you hey your watch battery if it's lower than 30 percent you'll get like a nice notification you might want to throw this on the charger so it can make sure you, it lasts throughout the night and same thing in the morning when you wake up you get like a little detail of not really how you slept but it I, I believe at the bottom it tells you how many hours you slept, but it also tells you like the weather outside and then also your battery life. And it says good morning to you every morning. So that's all good. Like I don't mind all that, but I feel like they took it a little too far. And what I mean by that is when you're in sleep tracking mode, sleep mode, whatever you want to call it. So they turn the screen off. That's great. Love that. But what they've done is they basically implemented screen time for your Apple Watch during sleep mode. So what that means is if you want to use your watch during when you're in sleep mode, you have to scroll the crown up. It's kind of like water lock for your watch as well. So you have to scroll the crown up just to get into the watch, which is really annoying for me. And anytime that screen turns back off, you got to redo that process. So sometimes I might wake up in the middle of the night and then I know it's not good for you, but I might want to check my email or check on a package and see if it's updated because, you know, I love it when new stuff's coming. And to do that, I might scroll up and then I'll tap on the icon, wait for it to update. And some apps take a little longer to update than others and the screen will turn off. And then I have to scroll up again, get back into, you know, the app usually stays open, but you've got to go through that scroll up process. And it's just... It's annoying. If you want to do anything on your watch when it's in sleep mode, it's a pain in the butt. So yeah, so I don't use it. I just can't stand it. Instead of using Apple sleep tracking, I use shortcuts. So I did a video before on shortcuts and how I used it to change my watch face. If you didn't know, in watchOS 7, you can actually use shortcuts to change your watch face based on time of day or even location. And it's amazing. Like it added so much more power to the watch. But I also use it for sleep tracking. So how I do it is I do have a third party app on my watch. I use Sleep Plus Plus, but every day at about 1130, I automatically have it 
change my watch face to my sleep watch face and then also enable theater mode if you didn't know what theater mode is it was released a few years back and it's great i love it i've been using it for sleep tracking ever since it was released and i can't say enough good things about it for sleep tracking you can also use it in a theater if you can ever get back into one if they ever open back up but you can at least use it for sleep tracking for now so what it does is when you enable theater mode you can still tap on the screen to go full brightness or you can scroll up the crown and when you scroll up the crown it ticks the brightness level by level and as soon as you get to a level you want you can start interacting and it stays at that level so it doesn't get to the full brightness which is great at night if you wake up in the middle of the night and you want to check your watch just scroll that crown up stop wherever you feel good like i mean you can get it pretty low and then you can interact and it just stays there so it's it's seriously it's the best so all that happens automatically now with shortcuts and then same thing when i usually wake up i'll automatically have the theater mode turn off and then the same with my watch face changes now my personal watch face i have my heart rate there I have an alarm that I can easily set from that watch face, and then I also have my home automation, the home app to track and make sure everything's locked or turned off. For me, that's the perfect setup. And it is so much better because I have that Sleep Plus Plus app in the background tracking my sleep. It gives me detailed reports on deep sleep, light sleep, if I woke up, when I woke up, how long I was up all that kind of info that you would want from a normal sleep tracker that Apple really just doesn't give you because they just don't want to add that extra stress. But like I said before, I don't really get that stress. So I love it. This is the way I've been doing it for years. I've just now been able to add the shortcuts ability so everything happens automatically and I don't have to set anything, which is awesome. Sleep Plus Plus sends me the notifications in the morning on how I've slept and I, you can also set sleep reminders if you want those notifications to come through too. There's a ton of other sleep trackers out there. I'll put some links down below but some of the other ones that I've used is auto sleep and auto wake. One will track your sleep and the other one will track the best time for you to wake up. Those are great. There's the pillow app, Napbot I've used in the past as well. All of them are great. They all work about the same. I mean, I'm sure there's a few minutes off and on that they do stuff a little bit different. Sleep Plus Plus has just been my favorite for so long. It's made by the same developer as the Widget Smith, so the guy knows what he's doing. I highly recommend this method. If Apple sleep tracking just isn't enough for you, try it out. See what you think. So I hope you guys have liked this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Do you sleep track with your watch? How long have you slept track with your watch? Do you have any other recommendations for sleep tracking with your watch or whatever else? What other tech do you use to sleep track with? Leave it down below because I'd like to hear it. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and rest of your week. And I will see you guys in the next one. God bless.